Before I tell you what we found, I'd like to tell you what we did not find. We did not find any evidence that explosives were used in the collapse of Building 7. It did not collapse from explosives or from fuel oil fires. Um, I think that the idea that the thermite uh, cut through the beams, it wasn't actually an explosion that caused the beams to cut. So that could probably be done uh, a lot more quietly, right? Yeah. Did you look at, at Stephen Jones's work? Well, that, uh, the, the issue of, of uh, thermite did not even uh, reach, um, the, in our judgment, uh, a level of importance sufficient to, in fact, do a detailed analysis. We could rule it out fairly easily for several reasons. Um, one, um, in order for a thermite reaction to take place, there has to be uh, materials. And, of course, building materials have all of the things that are required for thermite or thermate. And if you looked at the amount of thermite or thermate that would be needed to build this bring, building down, you would have had to place about 100 pounds of thermite or right in proximity to the column. And it had to have always adhered to the column because what thermite does is actually it melts the steel. So somebody has to keep pushing it so that the thermite continues to be sticking to the steel, this vertical column, until it actually uh, collapses. Uh, and in order to get that kind of amount of materials into the building and, and to actually place it and for this reaction to take place is unlikely to have actually happened. One last question. Uh, the part of that that, that um, I have trouble with is that if you say the building came down without any explosives at all, uh, then uh, isn't it possible that you wouldn't need a, a lot of explosives to bring it down if it came down with no explosives at all? Repeat your question. If you're saying the building came down with no explosives whatsoever, uh, isn't it possible that it could come down with a smaller number of explosives than you estimate? No. Uh, the big difference is fire is a persistent uh, on, uh, assault on the structure. Couldn't they work together? What? The explosives and the fire. Well, let me put it this way. There's a very elegant and straightforward to understand proceed method that causes this building to come down, and that's the issue of thermal expansion. It's very straightforward. It's based on sound science, and it is consistent with all the observations we have, and it's consistent with the fact that the fires were on the lower floors of the building. But it's never happened before, right? But it's, it's, the physics is consistent, it's sound, it's been analyzed, and we have the results. And we, we are very comfortable with our findings. So we're going to move on. Uh, do you have a question from the left? Yeah, not from the new person. Uh, from Eric? 